Welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at the Obsidian Kanban plugin in depth. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's actually an entire course of Obsidian task management that I'm developing, only available to members right now. You can get it all at curtismichael.ca slash membership. In that course, you'll see this video, plus you'll also see a bunch of other videos on how to add images to the front of it, uh, how to add more YAML metadata, and some of the other more advanced features in the Kanban plugin. Buckle up, let's dive in to the Kanban plugin. So you can find this plugin in the community plugin repository in the uh, Obsidian application. You get the command comma uh, on Mac uh, or if I go into your preferences. You can also find it here on GitHub. I actually come to GitHub a lot of the time, but that's possibly because I'm just a developer and just go through some of the documentation that's on here. So there's a bunch of issues as well. I actually just created two this morning uh, around iPad OS that it's not super reliable. Uh, the drag and drop function with the trackpad, it does work, but you have to like make sure you're using it just the right way every time. Uh, and then enter does not create a new card on iPad, but we'll get to that actually. Um, the other thing this plugin has that's really good is the documentation. Um, you can find that link to uh, from the plugin. You can find that link to on GitHub, uh, or you can go, you know, have a link in the description below um, for how or where the documentation is. It's really good, really detailed, right down to like what each individual setting does. So that's excellent if you really need to dig into Kanban and figure out some of the other things that it can and cannot do. Now, what I have here is a demo vault. It has really nothing in it uh, except a folder and a blank note. So we'd start by installing the Kanban plugin. Um, I would go to uh, Community Plugins. I'm going to go to Browse. I would search Kanban. It's already installed, right? And so here it'll say Install, Activate. Um, and instead, we can go to the Options. So for the Options, we're going to cover the first few, and they'll actually come back to some of the other ones, like the date ones in a bit. So one of the things we can do uh, is um, trigger a new line or new card. So when you create a new card, you can either hit Enter or Shift Enter um, to do that. And that depends on what you toggle here. So Shift Enter right now by default creates a new line and Enter should create a new card. One of the other ones you'll want is Append or Prepend or Prepend Compact. So this is whether you add a new card at the bottom or at the top of your list of cards. We'll come to the other ones as we move through the video. So now I have a new note and it is ready to become a Kanban plugin. So I'm going to hit Command P and type Kanban, create new board, or I can also convert empty note to Kanban. I'm gonna convert this empty note. The one thing you notice is that I put K at the beginning. I just like to have my Kanban boards prefixed with K so that I can easily find them. So if I'm searching for something with Command O, I can type K and it's not as evident in this because I really only have one thing, but in my regular vault, I have like 3,000 notes and it's easier to find all my Kanban boards if I type K dash. That's something you can adopt if you like it. So what we're gonna create as far as a Kanban board today is uh, something like my YouTube um, channel uh, video list. So I'm gonna start with ideas and hit enter, create a new card. So this is the one thing that doesn't really work on an iPad. Um, when you hit enter, it doesn't create a new lane in this case or a new card. So I'm gonna do ideas. Working, record, published. And then that's where I'm actually going to toggle this, mark cards in this list as completed. So this is going to archive the card or mark them as done. So I'm going to check that, add list, and we're done. So I now have my um, three things. I have my four lanes, ideas, working, record, and published. There's also some buttons that this provides across the top. I can add a list if I need to add a new list by clicking on the add list. I can archive completed cards. So any cards that are in the published area as I currently have it set up, if I hit archive, it'll actually just remove them so I don't see them anymore. And I can also open it as markdown. So that's what this looks like now. So I go to the Kanban plugin. It has a bit of YAML on the top that says Kanban plugin basic, and that's really it. So to toggle back, I can open, um, all right, toggle between Kanban and Markdown mode. So now it's toggled back to my Kanban board. Now let's say ideas. So some of the ideas I have right now are um, AirPods Max. All right, I love things. I hate things. Be my things. Task Manager. Those are two ideas I have. Now, for a long time, I actually kind of messed myself up um, or made it harder for myself because then I'd always have to come in here, new note from card, and then add the template, which is really not what I want to do. 
Um, it just creates more work for me. So if I open this now, you'll see I have AirPods Max. There should be a new card for that. AirPods. It's actually already created in my writing folder because of one of the settings I have. So we'll show you how to do that now. So under the Compound plugins, um, by default, it will come to default folder. So when you create a new note, it will create it in the default folder in your Obsidian Vault. Um, I already have it set to writing. I have no template because I just have no templates. So let's create a new folder for templates. And I usually go my templates folders, get Z, templates. And then in here, I can create a new file. And this would be uh, content is what I would normally call it. Let's make sure it's in my templates. It is. And then I would put whatever I normally have. And let's actually copy one from my other Obsidian Vault on the other page. So I can go to, in this case, we'll bring it right over so you can see. I would go to K writing. And I can say, here's I love things, I hate things. And so my initial template is actually that part right there. So now when I come in here, I pasted it in and I now have my initial template um, to be added to all Kanban cards um, as I create the notes. Let's take that back off screen. So now if I came into, say, writing an open AirPod Max, I can go template. Oh, it doesn't actually show. So templater is another plugin that I normally use. So we'll come in here and we'll say community plugins, browse, Templator, install, enable, and options. And I'm going to say that's my template folder. That's really all I need to do at this moment. So now I should have my command. So if I go template, open insert template modal, and as content, and I've inserted it. So that's something I always had to do previously um, and something that we're going to show you that I'm not having to do now. So we have two settings that we set. Uh, we can have templates go away, right? In our Kanban plugin, make sure that's taken. If we go back to Kanban, so now we can set a note to template, and I can set it as content. So now when I create a new card, so let's go back to our writing ideas, and if I create a new note from card, I now have my template already in there for me. So that's something that could be really useful in any type of task management even. So I, uh, I've used Kanban boards, actually use Kanban boards all the time in my regular development job where we have um, things that are backlogged. So, you know, we have, there's no plan to get to them yet um, or to do like these are the things I'm that are up next, what I'm currently doing. If there's a blocker, there's a lane for blocked so that we know that these cards are blocked and there's also for next release. And then there's the archive one for like things that are already done and not around right now. So now let's pretend that I've done the AirPod it's Max one. You can see now it has this little archive uh, icon beside it because I can archive it. And let's look at some of our archive options in the Kanban plugin. So we can also set lane width so that is the like how wide published is. Um, we can set the maximum number of archive cards. So these are we can always do them in markdown mode, but we're removing old cards once the limit is reached. So this just means that we don't get so much clutter. I have found a little bit because I have, I don't even know, a few hundred ideas on my regular writing board that it does occasionally seem a little slow. It's nothing terrible. Um, I only notice it a little bit on my iPad. I say there's a few issues around the iPad already and how it works on the iPad. So it's not terrible, certainly usable, but every once in a while I just have to wait a little bit for the whole board to load up for my hundreds and hundreds of ideas. So I have honestly just left this set to that to one. So let's actually just set it to 20 now. Uh, that's probably a decent number. I haven't actually tried it, but if you're having issues with this lagging, then I would set this to 20 and then it will start removing cards for you. So another setting you can use to just give you a visual view of whether a card is kind of archived or done is the checkbox. So if we go command comma to get to our settings, we're gonna say uh, display card checkbox. Now I can close the modal. Now nothing has shown up. That's actually because I just have to go in to a card and then I can come back and now I see that this card is archived, this card is ready to go still. I don't actually use these, so I leave this setting off. I've just I never really found the need for that extra visual cue because I can already see that this is in my published or in my kind of done lane. Now let's unarchive this. Let's put it over in working, pretending I'm writing on it. I need to schedule it. Um, so that's another lane I could use. I could say uh, ready to schedule. 
I'm going to add that list, cancel, and I can actually just drag and drop from the handle right there over to that. So if this is ready to schedule, I could drag it in and I could say, look at my calendar, but first I need to enable dates. So let's do that. Go down to our date settings. And there's a whole bunch of other settings, whether I, um, whether the, or what lists or what buttons I have at the top, whether I can add archive cards, open as markdown or open board settings. So this is my date ones. So a date trigger is by typing at, in which case I can add a date to it. Double at will add a time. I can change my date format if I want. I just leave all these default um, so that it sticks with what um, Obsidian expects as a default. The time format I want, the date display format. Again, I leave all of these how it is. Relative date. So this will show that this is something, you know, two or three days from now, right, or a month ago. So hide card display dates, um, hides the actual date in the card, but we'll still show you the relative date and the hide card dates in titles. So this is important because if I said, um, let's turn on, let's add a date to a new card, new card, and we'll add a date to it. The date doesn't matter, add date, eight, so now if I create a new note from card, it actually created and used the date in there. And that's not really what you want most times. So I can delete the current file and let's delete this card as well. Delete card. So instead, if I come into my date settings and I, was it hide? Date trigger, open board settings, right? So many settings all the time. Hide dates in card titles. So now, just make sure we've got it refreshed. So my settings, now I can add a new card with date. I created it and I can add a date. Doesn't matter what the date is. So now it's down here. So if I create a new note from card now, notice I don't have my date included in the title. That's some feature that I like that I would normally do so that I don't actually have my post title, my card title, including the date in the title, because that's not really relevant to me. Now going on with the date settings as well, you can also choose to link it to daily notes if you want, right? Link dates to daily notes. So this means that it will allow you to um, just have them linked to daily notes. So if you have a card due on a certain day, then it just helps you create that daily note for you if you use that. I'm not using daily notes in this vault, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, add date and time to archive cards. I usually do that so I can see when it was archived. Uh, you can archive date time separator. So I could add a dash in there to know that that is when it was archived. Archive date time format. So it just tells me when it was. And then I can also change the first day of the week in the calendar. So in the pop-up calendar, I can change it to be whichever day I want. The default is uh, the North American way. I believe Europeans usually use Monday. So if you would like Monday, then you change it to Monday. And now the date pop-up in the calendar will show up as Monday. There's also linked page metadata that, that will actually cover in the more advanced videos coming up. So now if I was going to schedule this card, I would actually go to uh, add date. And I know that this card is say I would do it. Actually, this video will be coming out on the 13th, even though this is not the right card for it. So I put the 13th and then I have it there. And so now it's ready to schedule and record. So in theory, when I have a bunch of ideas here, right, I'd work on one or two at a time. And then when they're ready to schedule, they go in the ready to schedule box. And then I just be ready to move with them so that I can turn them into proper YouTube videos. And then when it's done, right, so later today, this video will actually, after, right after this, I will render the video out and I'll get it all done and I'll put it into the published over there and then it's out of my way and I'm ready to start working on the video for next week. That's it. If you have other questions about the Kanban plugin, feel free to put them in the comments. If you want more Kanban, you want to see how to add images to cards, how to do some of the other more advanced stuff with quick add to make some of your card entry uh, faster, easier for yourself, then you're going to want to get the course. If you go to curtismichael.ca slash membership, members are getting this course as it releases. So you, members today will get a dump of three or four videos saying, hey, here's the Kanban plugin. You can also watch this now in according as well as the Todoist plugin, as well as the Things plugin, um, so that they are getting the course as it releases. If you do not want that, if you're ready, just I'll just get it when I get it. Then you can wait. When the course is done, I will put it up on Skillshare. I'll make it available for purchase. Other ways to support the channel, just take a course. I just said it all. So that's it. Have a good day.